Well, hello, big nonces. It's Friday, and that means it's time for me to get rid of for you, big nonce. It's also the Boxing Day after Boxing Day, which is like Boxing Day's Boxing Day. It's the 27th, 27th of December. I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas. I've had a wonderful Christmas. I'm still fucking pissed on the eggnog. Let's crack on. This is today's game. Santa's big sack. There he is. There's Santa, winky face, no top on, big sack. Let's just jump in, see, give it a shot, see what it's all about, player. The following is a work of satirical fiction. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or real relationships, or, if I didn't fucking get, have a chance to read that, but I'm sure it covers me back, in case there's anything mildly pornographic in this. This is a bit snowy. I hope that's snow anyway. Oh, he looks rough. He's, a, he's had a bit of eggnog. He's called Cramdor. Cramdor grandly horns the name and greeting folks is my game. Guess you must be the new guy, ah? Huh? Whoa, how do you know that? Can you can you read minds? Trust me, it ain't like we get many visitors this far north. What an account of the fact this place here is what you call a frozen hellscape. Soon as I saw your long, gangly body coming over the ridge, I says to myself, why, that's got to be Rooney Noble character the boss told me to keep a lookout for. It's actually pronounced Rudy Noel, if you don't mind. You know, like... Oh, it's, it's, sorry, but it's, it's my voice. You know, like a Lazy Christmas reference. Yeah, whatever. Save it for someone who cares, dick. Look, you want to meet the fat man or what? Yeah, go on then. Santa Claus. No, the Easter Bunny. Of course I mean Sandy Claus, you big stupid oaf. What's the matter? Your brain not getting enough oxygen up there in the clouds? Goodness, this Cramdor is quite the rude little fellow. Should I act naughty and insult him right back? Or nice and reassure him that I'm a good guy? Fucking naughty. Get your naughty on. Go on, dog bomb. Keep, oh, keep running your mouth like that, little man, and Santa's going to find himself one ornery elf short this holiday season. Fucking burn. You're threatening me, stilts. Just show me to your bus already, Twinkle Toes. I'm getting tired of all these reindeer games. Grr, right this way, you Robert Wadlow looking son of a bitch. I have no idea who Robert Wadlow is. I'm sure he's a tall man. Because that seems to be what all of his jokes are about tallness. So I'm walking down this stodgy corridor. We enter Santa's magical factory and begin to meow our way down a long mysterious hallway. Like off of um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's a bit weird, isn't it? A base swell of tinkering and toy making fills the air as you step towards the glowing red light at the end of the path. A lump of nervous energy catches in me throat. Suddenly the doors open as though a flash revealing a shadowy someone holding a sash. Ho, ho, hello. Twinkling light rains down like falling snow, giving a luster of jolliness to the figure below. He stands tall and mighty, his hand by his beard, eyes twinkling with fire, chest more shirtless than I feared. With a bundle of toys pressed up to his back, I could tell right away that he had a big sack. His pecs. How they shimmer, his dimples how merry, his nose like a rose, cheeks red as a cherry. His droll little mouth is drawn up like a bow with the beard on his chin coloured white as fresh snow. He's got a broad face and a round little belly. There's a bulge in his pants, like a bowl full of jelly. Oh, fucking beautiful that was, beautiful poem. Ho ho, hello there! Why you must be Rudy! Thank you for coming all this way. The elves and I are so very pleased you've decided to join us here at the North Pole. Santa, your, your muscles are so big. It comes from delivering so many presents. Stuffing stockings, sliding down chimneys, and unloading my sack. It's quite the workout. 
chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I got hard when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to picture him taking me to bed. I mean it, Rudy. I really am pleased as figgy pudding to have you here. Never before have he considered that I'd find myself panting after one quite so full-figured. I hate to admit it, I hope it's not sick, but I feel like I'm falling for good old Saint Nick. Good God, this is crazy, what should I do? Naughty or nice, my options are too. What should I pick, big nonsense? Write your comments below, write, write them now, write them now, write them now before I choose. I'm going to be naughty, big nonsense. Good choice, good choice in the comments below. Forget it, Santa baby, the pleasure's all mine. Me personally, I'm all about getting my gloves on that pole, if you know what I mean, wink, wink. Ho, ho, ho! How refreshing to meet a young person so passionate about science. Don't worry, my boy. You'll have plenty of time to study the world, the Earth's magnetic pole while you're here. Wait, wait. No, no. That's that's not quite what I... That's not what I... Look here, Bigfoot. Be Mr. C's assistant ain't all fun and reindeer games. It's a lot of hard work, capish. Oh, relax, Cramdor. You'll scare the poor lad. Oh, oh, oh. oh fuck me. Is it? I've somehow accessed a backlog of Santa's chat. I don't know how I did that. I must have pressed something by accident. Anyway, crack on. Just because we're working hard doesn't mean we can't have fun, and it certainly doesn't mean we can't play games. Wouldn't you agree, Rudy? Naughty or nice, I'd better think twice. Um, let's be nice. Let's be nice this time, big nonsense. Let's be nice. See what happens. Sure, Santa, whatever you say. Work hard. Play games hard. That's the motto. Oh, wise guy, huh? <clears throat> that elf's a little fucker. That's the spirit, my boy. Keep up that holly jolly attitude and you'll fit in here just fine. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks, boss. That means a lot coming from you. So should I start helping you make some toys now or, or, or something? Santa chuckles, letting out a hearty ho ho ho. <laughs> Making toys, baking cookies. These are all things that elves can do. What I need from you as my personal assistant is to serve as my eyes and ears here at the North Pole. Watch over things when I'm not around. Intermediate disputes. And for God's sake, don't let the reindeer unionize. Oh, and I'll probably need you to do a little manual labor too. But like I said, that's not the important part. No. That's me. Back to me. Back to my voice. No, that would be union busting, right? I, I, how the fuck am I doing that? Oh, if you scroll your wheel, you can go back into the previous chats. Anyway. Crack on. Ho oh, oh, ho! Don't think of it that way, son. I'm just asking you to keep the peace. Winky face. Oh, and keep an eye on Mrs. Claus for me, would you? She's been... different lately. I can't quite put my big sack on it, but I'm afraid she's growing unhappy. Say it ain't so, Santa. Your marriage is in trouble. Oh, uh, no. I wouldn't go that far. Mrs. Claus and I still love each other dearly. It's just that I get so darn busy during this part of the year, what with it being almost Christmas and all, and it can be hard to make time to tend to her needs. You'll... You, you'll take care of her for me, won't you, Rudy? Um, yeah. Yeah, boss. Whatever you need. Take her out dancing, show her a good time, but stay away from the mistletoe. Ho ho ho! I'm just kidding, Rudy. I know I can trust you. Just fucking sit down his big sack. He, Santa sat down his big sack, placing his muscular hands upon my shoulders. 
And do you know why I know that I can trust you? But because nobody fucks with Santa Claus. He shakes his head slowly. A, gi a gentle smile crossing his cherry red lips. Seven words, Rudy. Pure of heart and noble of spirit. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, yeah, sure. I remember it was written on the help wanted that I saw for this place. Those aren't just words, Rudy. They're words to live by. And whether you know it or not, live by them you do. That's why the ad showed itself to you in the first place, after all. Hold up. You're saying it was a magical help onto that? Why not? Everything else here is. But, but Mr. Claus, Santa, I'm not even sure I know what those words mean. Pure of heart and noble of spirit? Really now? Doesn't that strike you as just a teensy bit old fashioned? I mean, come on, we're living in the modern, morally ambiguous 21st century. And I'm a thoroughly modern, morally ambiguous kind of 21st century guy. Sure, I'm nice sometimes, but it doesn't mean I can't be naughty every now and again. Truth be told, I think a lot of us struggle now to even tell the difference between the two these days. Not me, friend. Not good old Saint Nick. I all know, always know what counts as being naughty and what counts as being nice. And I never cross the line. Fuck it, big nonsense. I'm going to be naughty. I'm feeling excited for being naughty. I've clicked it. Right now, I wish you would cross the line, old man. Cross it all over my face. Good heavens, Rudy. What are you saying? You want me to be naughty all over your face? What does that even mean? Jesus Christ, I've gone into the fucking log again. My cheeks flush red as a tingling sensation inches down my leg. Before today, I never thought of Santa Claus as anything but a sex sexless, aging fatso with more beard than brawn. The kind of guy who spends too much time around kids and cookies for his own good. I mean, sure, I've always wanted to work for him. Maybe even idolised him, but I certainly never wanted to sleep with him. But now, now I'm not so sure. Angry Santa. Come, Rudy, I'm ready for an answer. Sorry, sir, it was just a bad joke, I guess. Fuck me, I've gone back on the log again. I keep hitting the, the scroll wheel by mistake. I'm sorry, big nuts. It's getting tense. I didn't mean anything by it, I'm honest. That, that's both me and the character in the game there saying that. Ho ho. That's alright, Rudy. I understand. I may not get the punchline, but I'm glad you feel comfortable enough around me to crack wise. Thanks, Santa. That's really cool of you to say. Just don't quit your day job to be a stand-up comedian. <laughs> get it? Because this is your day job. <laughs> ho ho ho. Very witty, sir. And please, Rudy, going forwards, try not to work blue. I don't really have a problem with it, but some of the elves, Cramdor in particular, have quite delicate sensibilities. You understand, right? Of course, Mr. Claus. I'll be sure to keep it clean. Who's this? Who's this new character, Larry? I'm back! Ah, Larry, my lad. There you are. Rudy, meet my trusted intern here at the North Pole, Larry Lopez. He was just out at the local penguin village picking me up some fancy new bells for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. Pleasure to meet you, new guy. I doubt you need an introduction to me, but just in case, I am the mighty Larry, and yes, all the horrible stories you've heard about me are true. I guess I'm what you might call a recurring character, know what I mean? Oh, um, wow, that's, um, wait, what? Can I see those bells, Larry? I'm so eager to see how shiny and beautiful they look. Oh, yeah, the bells. Um, I left them at the stables, I think, and, uh, sure, that's right, the stables, that's where they are. Well, no trouble. I'll just see them later, I suppose. Thanks again for picking them up for me, Larry. 
You're such a valuable part of our organization and someone I know I can really count on. That's right, fat boy, you keep taking the bait. Ha! <laughs> Larry's a bad person. Everybody boo and hiss. Boo, hiss, etc. It's fucking pantomime this shit. Well, he seems suspicious. Oh, come on, you faithful Rudy. Don't be ridiculous. Larry's my most trusted intern and an all round nice guy. Come to think of it, he's my only intern and an unpaid one at that. Don't worry though, I'm sure he's not bitter that you got the personal assistant job over him. Was getting this job something he was interested in? Oh, you bet, yeah. He really lobbied hard for it. Kept talking about how he'd worked faithfully by my side for so long and that he deserved it, but in the end I felt it was best to go with an outside hire. In that case, it doesn't sound like he's got anything to be bitter about at all. Glad to see we're on the same page. Ho, ho, ho. Anyway, Big Lobsters, this has been Santa's Big Sack. I'm going to leave it there. I think things are going to get steamy. Now, here's the thing. It's, it's Christmas after all. I can, I can continue playing this next week if you like. Post below if you want me to continue playing this next week. Otherwise, I'll find something else if you don't want to see what's going to happen in the, in the world of Santa. It might be shit. Um, just let us know in the comments below if you if you want, um, or, or by thumbs up. If you've got lots of thumbs up, then we'll, we'll do this again next week. We'll see what's crack like and in the world of Santa's Big Sack. Otherwise, click the links below. There's a link to the game on Steam. There's a link to the Discord if you want to come and chat to us over the festive period when we were all fucking pissed and that. Um, and I hope you've had a lovely Christmas, and I'll see you in the new year next week with another indie game review for you, Big Nonsense. Bye for now, Big Nonsense. Bye for now.